Hey everybody, welcome to the Crit House. I'm Jeff Larson and you have just seen the work of Anastasia Sierra. And that is the work that we're gonna talk about here today. We are honored with two amazing photographers joining us as our reviewers, Stavros Stamatiu. So Stavros, if you have not seen his work, I'm gonna encourage you to go to his website, which I will put up on the, uh, on the screen here. And also uh, in the show notes down below, he's an amateur photographer in Greece. He's been a, he has been a teacher since 1988, and he is a member of the Little Box Collective and the Clickers Photography Team. He has studied with some of the great photographers of the world, and his work has been shown in exhibitions and photography festivals, as well as published in iShot and FishEye and Underdogs magazines, and he has been featured on Lens Scratch as well. Um, we came to him because of the recommendation of our other photographer here, Stella Johnson. Stella Johnson was here with us previously. And when I, I talked to her about who she wanted to partner with, she said, Stavros. <laughs> Stella has been a reviewer with the Crit House before. I knew, or she knew that, uh, or I knew I wanted to have her back and we asked her uh, uh, to come on and she's joined us again. Stella's a photographer and educator uh, and known for her documentary projects. She's received a Fulbright to photograph in Mexico, another Fulbright to teach in Mexico and another Fulbright still to teach in Colombia. Uh, she holds teaching positions at Boston University and Lesley University. And uh, she teaches workshops in Greece, Cuba, Colombia, and Mexico, and uh, boy, it's great to have you both with us here. Um, and uh, and Anastasia Sierra, thanks for joining us as well. Anastasia is a portrait and fine art photographer. She's located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and she started in portraiture and in fashion, and she now does personal projects and commissions. Anastasia's work uh, looks at motherhood and womanhood and relationships. Uh, she is a graduate of Boston University and the Center for Digital Imaging Arts. So Anastasia, maybe you can start off by telling us just a, a little bit about yourself and maybe your project and what you're hoping to learn from here on the Crit House. Um, so hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Anastasia here, and um, I'm originally from Russia, um, and I've been living in the U.S. for the past 18 years, um, currently um, in the Boston area. Um, I've been shooting commercially for about uh, 10 years now, um, and um, I started out in um, uh, photography with a major interest in fashion, um, and over time I found myself uh, gravitating more towards uh, portraiture, and um, over the last two years um, I've been diving deeper into my personal um, photography practice. Um, the work I'm um, showing today is a project about my relationship with my son and with motherhood. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit um, of background on how I started and how it evolved. Um, so shortly before COVID, I was taking a portraiture class with uh, Rania Matar at Mass Art. Um, and my plan was to create um, a body of work about women with their young children. Um, because my son was um, under two at the time and I was uh, really struggling. So I wanted to make a, a project about that. Uh, but then the pandemic um, started and um, I was um, kind of forced to turn the lens onto uh, my family and myself. And um, at first, my intention with this project was to show how isolating the time in our life was. Um, so I was shooting a lot through windows and um, I made a lot of pictures. Um, of the two of us uh, uh, close together, but looking in different directions. Um, so physically close, but spending too much time together to really enjoy it. Um, and then um, over the following months, um, the pandemic beca became less relevant. And um, I also became more and more aware of how quickly my son was growing um, and changing. And um, I started focusing more on uh, photographing our bodies together and um, um, trying to capture the beauty of intimacy that we shared um, at the time that I knew was going to uh, turn into something else in the coming years. Um, and now um, I've been at it for a bit over two years and my son is four now and he's uh, getting more and more independent. Um, so I find myself making more images of us separated by distance or by shadows um, to talk about my anxiety about him becoming his own person and wanting more um, independence and distance. Um, so that's the background on the project. Um, it's ongoing and um, evolving, as I mentioned earlier. Um, 
and Stella and Stavros, um, I'd love to hear a new suggestion that you have on uh, moving this work um, forward. Um, but uh, lately, I've been especially struggling with editing and um, sequ sequ sequencing it. Um, I've been um, starting to put this project out into the world and uh, applying to different uh, competitions. Um, and um, I always struggle, like how to how do I narrow this work down to say five or ten images, and mm. um, what makes the story strong. So uh, um, yeah, that, that's uh, Anastasia. That's a great um, summary. Uh, I know you when you we talked before. You said that the your first eleven images or so you feel like is a set um, is a set grouping you feel pretty comfortable with. What what is it you have? But you sent a, a number of other images. What's your question about the other images that you have? Uh, so I have a couple of questions. So if you look at the entire group of, um, I think, 26 or something like that, uh, some of them look similar to each other and possibly repetitive. So I'm curious to see which ones you think are the strongest one, whether you agree um, with me uh, that the ones I put in the group of the first 10 are stronger. And like I also know when you edit, it kind of like really depends on the entire group that you have. So sometimes it might make more sense to include a weaker image that kind of flows better with the rest. Uh, so I guess, yeah, that's just my struggle. Like what would be your top five images to choose as a story or top 10 or 15? Sure. Well, Stavros, let's, uh, let's turn it over to you and hear what your initial thoughts are to her questions and to her body of work here. Okay. Uh, first, I would like to thank you for uh... Uh, the invitation. I feel uh, honored to be here with you. Uh, Anastasia's work is uh, uh, obviously uh, a work that has a, a great background. Uh, she, it's obvious that uh, she has uh, studied the, the light. Uh, yes. The colors are amazing. Uh, her uh, the use of light reminds me of uh, uh, chiaroscuro uh, in uh, you know in adventure <laughs> yes. uh, yes. Caravaggio let's say or Rembrandt yes. and uh, you know I I don't see any uh, repetition I don't what you said before uh, I don't feel that you're repeating yourself I, every image has to add something you also mentioned something about intimacy uh, I can find intimacy in some pictures, in some others, I, I don't. You know, uh, mostly in the pictures that uh, we can't see your face. Uh, and also uh, the one picture that, uh, uh, you know, it, the affection uh, is um, with, uh, it's only one picture with uh, a man, is it, I, I suppose, is your husband. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And uh, one picture uh, that uh, uh, it's you and the child behind the glass. Mm -hmm. I can see in in those uh, pictures. I can see the affection. In uh, some other pictures, uh, your face expression and the way that you are looking in a different direction uh, makes me feel that there is a distance. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the, there is a closeness of the bodies, uh, uh, but there is a distance that is coming like like this one, let's say. You know, the, the way that you're looking is telling me uh, that you're not thinking of the child. Maybe it's telling me that uh, you, you would like to be somewhere else. My question uh, from the beginning, what is exactly your intention? Two different directions, two different languages. Uh, thanks so much for pointing that out. Um, uh, I guess it makes me happy to hear that because um, my intention changes um, depending on how each day goes. <laughs> and um, motherhood is like full of contrasting um, phases. So I guess I would actually what I would like to have in this project is both um, because obviously there's a lot of love and uh, intimacy and tenderness, but also especially as a an artist who is a mother, there's like always not enough time 
for making work and like a certain mm -hmm. loss of independence and my own identity has changed so um I feel like when I look back at my work um the images that I'm drawn to the most are the ones that are a little bit ambiguous where you could see um you know the tenderness but also uh some maybe darker emotions mm -hmm. um, so I, um, when I started this project, I was looking at um, some other work um, about motherhood and obviously Eleanor Carucci springs to mind. She mm. makes brilliant work about motherhood and I love how she portrays um, uh, motherhood in a very honest way. And I feel like my way um, is more subtle, but I do like um, talking about these negative things as well along with beauty. Stella, can we bring you in and um, get your thoughts on the discussion so far? Well, um, yes, I thought immediately about Caravaggio, first of all. And I must say, Anastasia, your use of color and composition is stunning, OK? Just it, uh, whack, it, it knocked me out immediately. You know, I just looked at the pictures and it's like, oh, color, composition, bang, you know? And then, of course, I went back to look. And so number. Um, 14 is that it no no number 12 12 12 12 sorry 12 That's okay. is my tw is my favorite picture okay um i and i don't even want to know how you made it okay so please don't tell us whatever secret is there or not it's a just a stunning portrait and yes i I agree with you, Anastasia, that there are there is repetition here in the imagery, okay? Um, and the top 13 that you had shown us, I felt like visually to place them, you know, five or 10 together, they're too um, similar in color and in composition. Mm -hmm. And in and maybe not in feeling, I think Stavros was right. Some are more intimate and others are a cooler or, you know, more distant. And yes, that does address life, you know, but um, see, like, like I love the horizontal number three. That's beautiful. That, that is, you know, just that goes along with number 12. I mean, they're completely different pictures, but I, at, in terms of my top five, 10, you know, those two, and then the, the naked bodies is that number six, Jeff? Uh, yes, the skin on skin is just uh, delicious, you know. And it takes us so we don't need. I don't need color in all of the images. You clearly you've got that nailed, you know. And um, that is so very sensual. Um, but I I did that one's another one that's very 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 beautiful. Um, I see your influences, but I, I looked at your other work, your commercial work, and, you know, your use of color and light is really strong. And, and it's great that also love. Oh, and the other one, the other vertical outside uh, with him and the dress that red, the phone. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Love it. Do you, you must know the work of um, Sig Harvey also. Yeah, I do. Um, I, yeah. I love her work. Yes, and she's a love. Um, so yes, so you know that these kinds of images are more important for me than the other ones because I I, I can't say why. I, these are stronger for me. The mm -hmm. ones that I pointed out, the one outside, th these sort of interactions like that when he's maybe a little bit older, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, have a question for Stella. So number 25, the one with the phone, um, do you feel like it belongs with the rest? Because I feel like um, what I enjoy about this picture, so I actually created it specifically for my contact page on my website. <laughs> uh, like I, yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But I mean, so it's, it's an outlier, but why does it see? The problem is I think that all of your images are too similar. And maybe you want, and you want people to laugh. You want people, you know, I mean, I love, this is a very joyous image, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's joy for me. You know, you're, 
here you are trying to have a, a career and you've got a, a child literally underfoot, under your dress. You can't even have a phone call, really, right? You know, it's very hard. Um, so, I mean, I don't... The visually, visually, it was a problem for me. The others that you had chosen, I thought they were too similar visually, and they mm -hmm. shouldn't all go together. They need to be mixed up. Mm -hmm. Like I know, I love this horizontal. I, I don't know what number it is. The big one here with uh, you in the red skirt and the blue. So what number is that one? Uh, okay, number three, mm -hmm. and then number six, of course, uh, the nude one, and then the um. But that's the that's your money shot. That to me is the best picture of for me. I'm not your client, but you know, <laughs> um, I do think that's the, one of the better um, images that you have. Um, and yeah, you know, it's like okay, he's growing up, and you know, he's not underfoot anymore. He's not grabbing you all the time. He is becoming more independent. But this Stavros. is just an extraordinary, yes, picture. Sorry, it is. Go ahead, it is. Jeff. No, I was just going to um, uh, bring Stavros in and get his thoughts on. Uh, so one of the things that Anastasia was asking about were were there particular images that are that stand out, and I just thought maybe Stavros could put his input into that. Yes, about the picture with the phone. Uh, I'm glad you, that you uh, pointed out this uh, this picture because uh, it's. Uh, one of the pictures of the interiors of the, the indoors uh, pictures that uh, uh, is uh, different from the others yeah. uh, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, st staging the picture you know uh, most of the uh, of the indoors pictures uh, have uh, uh, they, they look very natural they there is uh, relaxation you know and this uh, particular uh, picture is uh, staged. You know, you can see it from the from the first time that uh, it's different from the others. Uh, and I think it's ambiguous uh, because you can see it in many different ways. This kind of picture. Your outdoors pictures. I would also like to talk about the fourteen. Uh, is great, great perspective. Uh, I think you should put uh, some outdoor pictures also. And uh, if, if we're talking about uh, sequencing, uh, I would uh, see all these uh, pictures, uh, the outdoor pictures, starting with this one. I would uh, like to see these pictures in the in the end, uh, closing the, the series. The, the picture that uh, also uh, Stella was talking about, this picture, I think it's uh, the picture that uh, will close the series. Mm -hmm. This this is the close. This is the the, the last picture. Uh, the child has grown. The mother is uh, um, the, the is more independent. The mother is you know going mm -hmm. away uh, little by little. You know, and uh, there is also something uh, on this picture can. I would like to ask you: Is it is it uh, digitally altered? I'm asking this because uh, uh, from what I see, the 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 size of the bands is looking uh, bigger than it should. Let's say. Oh, you know, actually, that's that's uh, not something I altered. The only thing that I changed, uh, so the camera was on the tripod, and I merged. Uh, I put my son in from another image. So like I sometimes do that because it's just impossible to control him when we do work together. Like if I get anything, mm -hmm. I'm lucky. Uh, so yeah, it's um, uh, the only thing that I added was change his pose a little bit. Um, it's the size of the kid that uh, makes the difference. Okay. Uh, in this picture, the, the perspective takes me to uh, another uh, painter, Giorgio De Chirico, who is uh, working with, uh, you know, metaphysical... Uh, Surrealistic picture, this one. Uh, yes. It looks to me, it's, uh, you know, it's surreal. I also like a lot uh, a picture that uh, we, I think we didn't mention before. The one with the child and the dragonfly. Mm, mm -hmm. Amazing, you know, the details. Is it sand on his face? Yeah. Very, very tender, very yeah. uh, beautiful picture, yes. The little details. Uh, and I also would like to, 
talk about the, the man. There is only one picture with uh, uh, your husband. Uh, I think you, you should put uh, some more images with uh, uh, your husband. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I would love to. I've been, yeah, it's mostly like a logistical complication <laughs> uh, because I, I usually like to take a long time with the shoots and uh, when we have light, um, he doesn't have time. But I, um, I have been thinking about that because it is a very special relationship too and it's part of the story, obviously. I think you have to, to get him in the, in the game also to, to yes. make him <laughs> pause. Uh, I think they have a beautiful relation. I think that you, even though that you started uh, having your concept in your mind, you, uh, let's say, made, uh, found new directions by, you know, spending time on this. Uh, as time goes by, you, you're exploring new uh, territories and uh, new feelings, and you, bring those feelings in your pictures and uh, that is uh, uh, very nice for me to to see it's uh, i enjoy to see this because this is why, the, why why i told you that i don't see any repetition you know mm -hmm. you are changing your photography as you as you uh, are doing your photography it's not everything uh, settled in your mind and this is what i like mm. not only this <laughs> As a conceptual uh, work, I, I admire this. I find it very, very interesting. Stella, we're going to give you the last thought. What should uh, Anastasia be thinking about? Maybe what's uh, what is something that we have not discussed that she should consider for her next step or her direction? She just needs to keep photographing. I mean, I think that she has a really a wide range of very beautiful imagery here. Uh, and... Um, I would consider, I mean, these exteriors, go back to the the one you just had. I, I really love these stories. They feel like stories to me and they feel complete as stories, as a single image and or together. You know, the other ones with the child, uh, well, he's older now, so that you're not gonna have as many images like that, the cuddling and all of that. And, and they're very beautiful, but um, I love the storytelling even more um, for me. You know, uh, that one tells a story. Too. That one looks like you. Well, yeah, that's you. But um, that's a very, you know, you you mentioned something about his chubby legs. And yes, they're, they are, you know, it's really, they're very beautiful. Um, but the, the ones that you had selected, I was, I thought they are repetitious visually, not emotionally, but visually. And I think that's a concern. Like the, um, not the horizontal, but the third and the fourth one, you know, they're the same size in the in, on the page. And mm -hmm. your verticals are the same size on the page. You want to be careful of the, that visual problem. And that's not a problem, It's a, but they're the same size. You know, step away, make them smaller and or come closer and make them larger. Maybe that's why I was so attracted to the one where you placed your son in, in the last one here. You know, because it's it's so visually different, mm -hmm. and I and I was very taken with it. And I, honestly, I didn't want to know that you placed your child there. I know <laughs> Stavros asked you. No, no, Stavros <laughs> asked you that question, and I never asked Stavros how he does anything because I don't want to know. <laughs> to me, it's more interesting not to know how he did it, and just to be, you know, in awe of the of the image itself. But I I think that you have. Um, a lot of talent, you know, technically, you, got your, you know, you have your chops. There's no question. There's no question about that. You can see and, you know, you're very good visually. So it's a matter of where do you want to go with it also. But I love the exterior storytelling. And this one tells a story too, you know, that does. That's beautiful. It is. You well, know? Um, Stella and Stavros, thank you so much for the input you've given. Anastasia, I hope this is uh, this is helpful for you to as you go in the next step. I, I, I've I've enjoyed looking at your work. It's it's uh, fascinating, and there's uh, there's there's a lot of good stuff here. And I want to thank you for having the courage to show your work here on the Crit House. It's it's always an honor for us 
um, to have somebody like you is and, and work as strong as this to have uh, come onto the Crit House. And we look forward to seeing what the next step is. I would like to, uh, to ask if you're interested um, in showing your work here on the Crit House, that we would encourage you to go to our website at the crithouse.com. There's a participation page. Um, and, uh, and again, thank you all for joining us here on the Crit House today.